Tutorials for Rock and Guitar Lessons dot com. It's Ozzy Osbourne with You Can't Kill Rock and Roll. You know, when you say Ozzy Osbourne, I really should just say Randy Rhodes. Isn't he what guitar is about? I'm telling you. Tuna half step down. Tuna. T U N A. And then slightly flat from there. It's interesting that the tuning was like that. Okay, this Randy did lots with layering guitars and stuff. This is done on a 12 string. Um, but since I'm showing you the distortion as well, we're going to do it on the clean channel here. I have a little delay running through it. And here's what you want to do. 7E, 9A, 9D, 8G. And we're going to pick this. 6, 5, 3, 1. Short breaths there and then go. 3, 4, 5. So. And the next one goes. Six five three o oh, or six five three two two one. So we have then take this whole shape here we're doing, this B, move it to A. Two fret frets back from where you're at. Five five E, seven A, seven D, six G. And uh, this one go. Six, five, three, one. So then go rest after that, then go three, two, three. And then go six, five, three, one, three, two, one. So that second half will go. And then you start it over. He does little, like I said, layered guitars. This part's where he'll go like a. I can't remember what it was. Like a, but they're overdub tracks, so this is the main rhythm behind that. Okay, so that whole thing goes four times, and then it's gonna go like this: three E, two E, hammer to three E, and then go to five A. So we have, and then seven E. Go to the fifth fret and then start it over. And then this time when you go to seventh fret, we're gonna power chord it 7E, 9A, and 9D. And go like this. It'll be 16 times. Actually a little less. It's 12 times on string six, five, and four. Go open E, and then 2E, and then 5A, and 4A, so we have, and then 2A, actually, after you hit that 2A, you're going to go 2A, 4D, 4G, so it's a power chord with an octave, then, Then go bar the fifth fret E and A, and then go seven D. Hit those three strings. Move it a whole step sharp to seven seven nine. Play it twice. So we have. And then this one. A lot of people miss this. It's not the same. It's open E two E four A two E. And then right back to this. Let's see, here's what we got. Then go 2A, 4D, 4G, twice. Fourth fret E, just kind of barely bend it. And then go open A, 2D, 2G, I bar that. And then bar the fifth fret on the B and E. And then hit strings uh, four through one on that, so. Then you start this whole part over. And then the next part goes. And that's open A, 4A. 
to D, back to 4A. Subgroup it, man. Take just those four notes. Okay? Then go 2nd fret G and open D and 3rd fret B. You're going to palm mute strings 4 and 3 twice. And then hit strings 1 and 2, no palm mute. So. And then hit strings 4, 3, and 2. This is the same chord you're on. And then go to an A chord, which is open A, and then bar the 2nd fret D, G, and B. And you repeat all that. Alright, here's the next part. 2D, 5A, 4A, 5E, or 5A. So 2, 5, 4, 5. 2A after that. And then he hits a B minor chord. You're already on your root. Add a 4D, 4G, and 3B. So it's hit strings 5 through 2. Then go up to 7th uh, fret on the D, G, and B. Well, just bar it from string 4 down. And then go pinky, 10, B. Randy did these chords a lot, too. So we have... Then go 9A. And then bar the 7th fret D, G, and B. So... Go over to open A, 2nd fret D, 2nd fret G, hit strings 5, 4, and 3, and then bar the 5th fret B and E, and hit strings 4 through 1 on that. So. And he does a slide, like from around fret 17 on the E. And then right around fret 3 here, we're going to hit a G major. 3rd fret E, mute the A, 3rd fret B, 3rd fret E, and hit all 6. D major, 2E, 3B, 2G, thumb, mute the low E, and you can hit all of them. And then F sharp major bar. And that's everything 2nd fret barred, 4A, 4D, 3G, and hit all 6. Okay, so, Randy, one of the reasons I play guitar, he, I get goosebumps listening to him to this day. Diary of a Madman is one of my favorite albums. Not just of Ozzy, but of all time. It's, to me, that good. The songwriting is that amazing and innovative. Um, if Randy could see, man, looking down from heaven, seeing the impact he had on all of us, it's insane. Um... I'm busting out a lot of the Randy Road stuff. Um, one of the things that I'm loving about it is there's not much footage of it, so I really have to listen close to all the notes Randy's playing, and it, that's right up my alley. I love doing that, trying to get it exact the way Randy's doing it. Um, but like I said, in the studio, he did a lot of overdubs, and there's lots of little things going on, um, which is one of the other genius things about Randy. And some of it is was simple little things that just made it sound so cool, and then some of it wasn't so simple. All right, so um, I'm Mike Gross. RockingGuitarSense.com is my website that's coming soon. $25 a month will get you joined in to become a premium member. It's going to be a really cool site, one of those sites you pay for. Turn it on, and you start learning right then and there. Not a big theory site. It'll be basic theory, but you don't even have to watch those lessons if you don't want to. I don't care. It's up to you. Um, also, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Once you do that, send me your favorite songs and I'll get them for you the way these bands are playing them. That's kind of my motto. I want to represent the actual versions and I try to get right down to the right strings and frets for you guys. Um, if you want to personalize your lessons with me, um, that's nothing really replaces the one-on-one. -on -one. And I'm teaching on Skype for guitar and bass, eventually drums, and my wife is teaching vocals. Uh, my Skype name is Rock and Guitar Lessons. Add me only if you're going to be doing the Skype lessons. And like I said, I've been, I've been teaching since 1992. Nothing replaces the one-on-one. -on -one. For one, we can work on the things you want to work on, but I get to see you play, hear you play, and see what techniques you're using. And, and you know, it's how, how do you top that? These free lessons on YouTube are great, and you can learn from them. 
but they're not interactive. So um, if you'd be interested in that, hit me up. Um, also, I have my email is rockinguitarlessons at hotmail.com. My PayPal email is tbxpunk at aol.com if you would like to make a donation to this channel. If you can't, it's okay. I still like you. But if you can, it's much appreciated, and uh, I'd like to be exclusive, man. That's my New Year's resolution for 2013, is I want to be exclusive, man, for you guys. Um, but doing these lessons, they're, you know, they're free. So, uh, any chance I can to get out of one of the stores I teach in, I will take. So, if it happens, it happens. If you can't, don't worry about it. Spread the word about Mike Gross, rockinguitarlessons.com, and youtube.com slash rockinguitarlessons1. So... Till next time, go listen to Randy Rhodes, because it will inspire you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, man. Mm -hmm.